Hey guys, Byron's Team Fly Halo. Today we're going to be doing a motor minute on how to torque your head bolts properly when you have a cooling shroud. So let's get right into that. The tools you will need for this project are a collection container, torque wrench set to 17 newton meters, a regular ratchet wrench, a 13 millimeter socket, and a number six or six millimeter hex drive. Okay, it's always a good idea when working on an engine to disconnect the spark plug cable. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. In this case, we just already happen to have to have that off. So you do not wanna use your torque wrench at this point. These bolts underneath vibration and just over time, combination of vibration and corrosion can actually get stuck. And so if you use your torque wrench that's set to your, your setting of 17 Newton meters, um, you could overstress your torque wrench, which you never ever wanna do. So we're just gonna go ahead and loosen these. Doesn't matter in what order, just gonna loosen these. And all these bolts do is hold the cooling shroud on. Perfect, now that those are loose, I'm gonna go ahead and spin those off. Now there's a washer on top as well as underneath to keep the uh, cooling shroud from uh, chafing itself and, and just uh, breaking over time. So those washers underneath are almost impossible to grab. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and loosen these without disconnecting it all the way and see if we can prevent these washers from falling to the ground. Okay, now that we have room, go ahead and lift the shroud a little bit. Get your finger on one of the washers underneath there. Back this out. Lift the washer and put it in your nice little container. Same thing with here. Perfect. Haven't dropped one yet. Okay. There we go. Let's just remove the cooling shroud, set it aside. Now that the head bolts are exposed, same thing. The head bolts underneath vibration and corrosion combination can actually get stuck. So do not use your torque wrench at this point. Use your regular ratchet. And let's go ahead and loosen these. And you just have to back them off. You'll hear a snap. Oh, no snap that time. It means that one wasn't stuck. There we go. Doesn't matter what order you loosen these in. And you just want them loose. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and grab our torque wrench, which is set to 17 Newton meters. Let's go ahead and one at a time, tighten these up. Now this process, you wanna be really patient. You wanna take your time and just go super slow because you just wanna take it to the point of torque. You'll see the wrench actually here bend and you'll hear it torque. There it was, we don't wanna take it any further. Now, I like to tighten these up in a cross pattern. So since I started here, I'm gonna go ahead and do this second one here. Same thing. Be really patient. Once it starts tightening up, just take your time. There it is. Okay, get this top one here. There it was. And now the last one. Really slow. Perfect. What I also like to do now is that since I've tightened them or torqued them crossways, I like to just go back around and just check it. Perfect. Once again, super slow. Take your time with this. There you have it. Okay. Now, let's go back to our cooling shroud. Put it on in the same manner that you took it off. Big end goes towards the propeller. And you want to get that washer underneath the cooling shroud without dropping it onto the bolt. And then get that bolt married to the head bolt. That's it, just a couple rounds. You just want to catch those threads and leave enough room for your fingers to get underneath to place that washer without dropping it. Go marry it to the head bolt. Now that those are in place, we haven't dropped any washers, let's just go ahead and hand tight these all the way down. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and take our number six or six millimeter Allen socket drive, put it on our torque wrench. Same torque setting, 17 Nm. That's gonna prevent this bolt when it tightens from over tightening your head bolt. 
if the settings are the same and you take your time, you're super patient with it, you will not over tighten that head bolt. There it is, same pattern, go across. There it was. Same thing, if you want to go around the horn, just recheck these. It's not a bad idea. There it is. Go ahead and replace your spark plug cap. Turn your safe start on, and you're ready to go fly. All right, hope you enjoyed that motor minute. For more tips and tricks, head to our YouTube channel or our Facebook page. Right now, I'm gonna go do some flying. Oh, 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 oh,